Hello everyone, good day. Especially to all the attendees and participants of the 18th IEEE Colloquium on Signal Processing and Applications. I'm Soren Pimabunga and one of the author of this research paper. The other author is Dr. Jennifer De La Cruz. And we are from Mapua University and Southern Luzon State University. I'm here to present a research paper entitled An Optimized Soil Moisture Prediction Model for Smart Agriculture Using Gaussian Process Regression. It is, it is expected that in 2050, the world's population will reach 9.9 .9 billion. It is also anticipated that this rapid increase in population will result in great food demand. Most of the country's source of food is from the agriculture sector. But this sector had been continuously hit by various problems due to the continuous urbanization and industrialization worldwide. The decreasing number of natural resources Reduce farmland and climate change are some of these problems which might result in food shortages in the near future. To overcome the growing food demand and possible food shortage in the future, the application of different technologies such as image processing, artificial intelligence, the Internet of Things, and blockchain in agriculture sector have been studied widely for the past years with the goal of improving the traditional agricultural practice, which results in an improved yield or production. Soil moisture is one of the most crucial parameter in different crop plants. For instance, leafy vegetables such as spinach, lettuce, and cabbage require a specific amount of soil moisture for them to have a good quality. Knowing the value of soil moisture allows smart agriculture professionals to properly control irrigation for their crops and for efficient water resource allocation. There are two ways to identify a soil moisture of a particular soil sample. The first one is using a direct measurement using different sensors or electromagnetic waves and light signals. And the second one is by using a data-driven approach. So in the data-driven approach, a prediction model is created using different parameters, such as temperature, humidity, and other factors that might be significant in soil moisture. With the vast amounts of agriculture and environmental data being generated today, this data can be put to good use when the right combination of predictor parameters and algorithms are chosen. Several papers were already reported focused on estimating soil moisture using different algorithms and input parameters as shown in this table. The first one is entitled Gaussian Process-Based Spatial Modeling of Soil Moisture for Dense Soil Moisture Sensing Network. The main limitation of this paper is that they used a single predictor variable, namely the temperature. Other parameters that might affect soil moisture were not considered in their model. There are other research paper that utilizes several parameters as predictor variables, such as the second paper in this table. But their study's main limitation is that they use a complex and computationally expensive model, which is not ideal for smart agricultural applications due to the power constraints, since most of these systems are installed in remote location. For the last three paper, they used different types of data, such as images, satellite data, and even cosmic ray neutron count data as inputs or predictor variables in their model. This results into a more accurate model, but these data source are very hard to obtain and requires very expensive devices or equipment. So to overcome this limitation of the previous reported studies, the research, this research and primary contribution was the development of an optimized soil moisture model using significant environmental parameters. Proper selection of the kernel function for the Gaussian process regression was also demonstrated in this paper, resulting in a better performing model and an automated hyperparameter tuning using Bayesian optimization was also presented to obtain a more accurate GPR model for soil moisture. 
the data set that was used in this paper comes from reference number 18, which is from IEEE data port entitled Weather Monitoring Station for Farms and Agriculture. The data set includes three days of measurement from a plantation in the city of Guayaquil, Ecuador. And the method of the collection was discussed in their paper as shown in reference 19, which includes the development of an Arduino-based prototype using four environmental sensors. The different parameters in this paper, which will serve as predictor variables, are temperature, humidity, rain occurrence, and light intensity. So this figure, as shown in this slide, shows the graphical representation of the entire data set. And a total of 2,864 sets of data were used for the training and testing of the soil moisture model. So as part of the data pre-processing, the data set undergoes normalization to give them a uniform scale, which will result into a higher model accuracy and faster training time. And then the data set was split into an 80% training and 20% testing ratio. So 80% will be utilized for the training of the model and 20% will be used for the testing of the developed model. So the Gaussian process model is a probabilistic supervised machine learning framework that has been widely used in various regression and classification tasks. It is basically a probabilistic distribution over a possible functions that fit a set of points. The mean of the distribution function and variances indicate how confident the predictions are. And for a multivariate regression, such as our research focus, the Gaussian regression function is given by this equation, wherein the x are the observed data points, mu represents the mean function, and k represents the kernel function. Hyperparameter tuning is another important part of the development of a machine learning based model. Depending on the algorithm used for the training, different hyperparameters of choice can be tuned to optimize the model's performance. In this paper, we use a Bayesian or search optimization algorithm to tune three different hyperparameters of the Gaussian process regression model. The different uh, hyperparameters and their search range as well as the optimized value is shown in table one. The three different hyperparameters are sigma, the basis function and kernel scale. So the search range for the sigma is from 0 0.0001 up to 190.336. And we were able to obtain an optimized value for sigma of 7.8941. For the basis function, we have three choices. It's either constant, zero or linear. And the optimized para, uh, value for the basis function is zero. And for the kernel scale, the search range is from 9.46 up to 9,462.23, wherein we, are, we were able to obtain an optimized value of 31.8538. So three evaluation matrix, metrics were used to evaluate the developed models, namely the root mean square error or the RMSE as shown in equation six, the mean absolute error or the MAE as shown in equation seven, and the R squared or coefficient of determination as presented in equation number eight. So this table, table two, summarizes the performance in terms of the RMSE, uh, MAE, and R squared of four GPR models with different kernel or covariance function. In terms of the RMSE, the GPR model with the rational quadratic seems to be the best performing model with the lowest RMSE of 3.6216. On the other hand, the GPR model with exponential kernel function displays the lowest MAE among the four models. And the four models R squared are all identical with a value of 0 0.96. So after optimization, this is the result. And the RMSE of the optimized GPR model reduced to 3.596, while the MAE was reduced to 1.176. Well, the R square remains the same with a value of 0 0.96. Based on the results presented on table two, three from the previous slides, it is evident that the GPR model can be used to model soil moisture accurately. Different kernel or covariance functions have different effects on the performance of the GPR model. 
The rational quadratic kernel function provides the lowest RMSE among other kernel functions based on the results. And using the Bayesian optimization algorithm, a decrease in RMSE and MAE was observed as tabulated in Table 3. To conclude, the, the rapid increase in food demand and continuous industrialization and urbanization worldwide requires a more efficient and accurate technology to be integrated with the agriculture field. Empirical results show that different kernel function for the GPR model provides different RMSE and MAE. The researcher also demonstrated the effectiveness of the Bayesian optimization algorithm for the hyperparameter tuning of the GPR model and a significant decrease to 3.596 on RMSE and 1.176 on MAE were observed for the optimized GPR model. For future works, it is recommended creating an automated data outliers detection to further improve the performance of the model. And other machine learning or deep learning algorithms can also be explored, as well as the ensemble approach of different machine learning and deep learning algorithms for soil moisture prediction. Thank you for listening, and that ends my presentation.